Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Um, so I thought I would do a little introductory yoga session for people that have maybe not done it before or for people that do do yoga but have partners at home with them that maybe want to try it and all the other stuff's a little bit too more too experienced. We're going to do a little spat, like a half hour, um, of just putting a couple of moves together. Um, we'll start and finish it, uh, but just try and find a little space, a quiet space, um, that you can put some headphones on or play in a room, but you can shut everything off and just focus on this. And we're going to see if we can get you in the mood in half an hour and make you realise how amazing it can be. So this is for people that have never really done it before. We're going to break a little bit down and, um, yeah, have a move together. And maybe maybe you'll enjoy it, hopefully you'll enjoy it. But something a bit different, and this is what I do, so I'd like to share it with you. So we're all going to come together. The more you can not watch and listen and trust yourself, uh, the better it will be. But you can go through it a few times and, uh, yeah, it'll just get easier the more you do it. So, to start, we'll become stand on our mat. If you've got a mat, if you haven't, don't worry. Uh, feet together, or feet hip width, whatever more comfortable for your body. Knowing that everybody's body's different. So we're going to stand. This is called Sanus DTE. This is like our home in yoga. This is where we always come back to. Some people call it Tadasana. I want you all to stand here, I want you to close your eyes and I want you to just listen to my voice. So keeping your feet completely grounded, gently rock backwards and forwards. It's like you're spreading the weight out through every part of your feet. It's kind of you're imagining the roots are growing out from underneath you, they're grounding you with strength without any effort. Still with those eyes closed, engage your calves, lift your kneecaps, engage your thighs. Tuck your tailbone so it's pointing down towards your heels. Lift your pelvic floor. We're going to lift that rib cage. Basically, we're trying to make the whole body as tall as possible. Strong core, it's kind of like a standing plank. Hold that tummy in nice and strong. We're going to bring the shoulders up to your earlobes, roll back and down. So your shoulder blades are dripping down your spine. Turn your palms forwards. Shoulders are relaxed but open, chest is lifted. Gently tuck your chin, lift the crown of your head. This is Samus DTE, this is home. Now we have to come to our breath, which is called pranayama. We're gonna all do today is gonna breathe out through our mouths. When you do proper yoga breathing, it's in through your nose, out through your nose. If you can do that, go for your life, but if not, so you can hear and vocalize um, your breath, we're gonna breathe out through our mouths. So we're gonna come to our breath. Relax your face, relax your eyelids. Still with your eyes closed. Take a big breath in through your mouth. Nose. <laughs> Take a big breath in through your nose. Imagine your chest filling, your tummy filling. Then breathe out through your mouth. Like you're letting everything go. Breathe in through your nose. Breathe out through your mouth. The louder you can make it, the more you can vocalise. And the more you can stay with that thought pattern. If you carry on going on your own, you're trying to think of two counts in two counts out. So you're switching everything off, you're tuning in on my voice and your breath. Uh, vinyasas, which is what yoga is, is movement with breath. So you're going to move as you breathe. So if you can visualize it or hear it, you're going to be able to move with that breath. <sighs> breathe in, fill up everything, up every part of your body. As you breathe out, let everything go. Now we're going to stay with this breath. We're going to try and move with it. We're going to break down what we call a Surya Namaskar A. So we'll do the standing sequence three or four times, the floor sequence, and then we'll put them both together. And that's all we're going to do today. So you can watch the first one, but do it with me, but watch. 
then I want you to try and do it on your own. So inhale, we're gonna reach up, fill up, inhale. Exhale, bring your hands to heart center with a flat back. Bend your knees, fall all the way down. Inhale, bring your hands to your shins, squeeze your shoulder blades, flat back, look at the floor. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach up, look up. Samastiti, home, shoulders back and down. Take one breath. We move again, inhale. Exhale, forward fold, flat back, bend your knees. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach up. Samastiti. One breath. With everything go. Inhibitions, nothing matters. There's nobody here. Stay with that breath. Can you hear it? Move for you. Feel good for you. Let's close our eyes. See if you can move with my breath. And my voice. Inhale. Reach up. Exhale. Flat back. Less bend in the knees if you can. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, reach up, fill up. Exhale, Samastiti. One more. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach up, fill up. Exhale, Samastiti. Take one breath. Yoga to me is about switching off. So the more you can uh, focus on just my voice and just your breath, if it's for one minute, five minutes, if you can just switch off that busy mind, you will feel amazing. So we're gonna to come to the floor to do our second set. So gently, let's all come down together. We're gonna to come to our hands and knees, but take your knees a little bit further back than your hips. So we're kind of in this position, yeah? I'll do it from here. Take an inhale. On an exhale, lower all the way down. On an inhale, push your pelvis, squeeze your shoulder blades, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, push your bottom back to your heels. This is called Balasana. Take a couple of breaths. Can you feel that tummy? Relax your head. Roll your forehead on the floor. Can you feel that tummy raising and lowering on your thighs? So you can visualize as well as vocalize that breath. Maybe count it if that helps. One, two, one, two. From here, you're gonna tuck your toes, push your bottom back, and come up into your downward dog. So it's like making a V. Your feet are hip width, your hands are shoulder width. Have a little bend in either knee, pushing those heels down so we're opening up the hamstrings. Your fingers are spread. Weight are through fingertips through the heels of your hand. Have a little wriggle, maybe look under either armpit. You don't need to set it for now, we're just having a little move. So from here, let me move again. We're watching for a minute, we move together. So from this downward dog, you're gonna push forward to high plank. From here, you're gonna lower your knees, untuck your toes, on an exhale, lower all the way down. Inhale, tuck your pelvis, squeeze your shoulder blades. Exhale, lower. Inhale, push back. All the way back to your bottom, hit your heels, relax your head, one breath. 
push the weight forward into your hands, tuck your toes, push your bottom up. Fingers are spread, externally rotate those upper arms, shake your head just in down. Come to that breath. Maybe walk that dog. So bend even to even knee. You're gently pushing your heels down. You're gently pushing your chest back towards your thighs. Head to relax, it's part of your spine. On an inhale, push forward to high plank. Exhale, knees, toes, lower. Inhale, pelvis, squeeze. Exhale, lower. Inhale, push back. One breath. Up into your downward dog. Test it. How does it feel? Really bend those knees and try pushing that chest back towards your thighs. Then gently push your heels down. If you're really uncomfortable, try changing the distance between the hands and feet so it feels nice and narrower or longer. Make sure those fingers are spread. You're pushing into each fingertip, the heel of your hand and the knuckles. Inhale, push forward, high plank. Exhale, tuck knees, toes. Inhale, squeeze your pelvis. Exhale, lower. Inhale, push back. One breath. Tuck your toes, push up. Two breaths. Exhale, knees, toes, chest. Inhale, squeeze the pelvis, shoulder blades. Exhale, lower. Push back. One breath. Tap your toes. Push your bottom up. Can you push those heels in the face of the floor? Can you push that chest back in the middle? Shake the head just in the From here, we're going to walk our feet to our heads. Feet are hip width. Take hold of either shoulder, shoulder, elbow. Bend your knees. Relax your head. Shake it yes or no. Have a gentle rock from side to side. There's a bend in those knees. Relax all tension. Stay with that breath though. Can you feel the tummy on the thighs? Any tight bits, try and breathe into them. As you breathe out, imagine those tight bits letting go. From here, we're going to raise up. So release those hands. On your inhale, not with mine. Reach up. Exhale, Samastiti. Recheck it. Walk backwards and forwards. Engage all the legs. Tuck your tailbone. Lift the chest, shoulders back and down. Chin tucked, crown of your head up. Face relaxed, eyes relaxed. Close your eyes and come to that breath. Can you switch off and breathe for you? <sighs> Yoga is about breathing and expanding. Expanding your awareness beyond the physical. Getting in touch with your inner self. To know what is truly worth holding on to and what's worth gracefully letting go of. It's about being here, now, welcoming change and challenge and movement itself. Come back to that breath. Is your whole body relaxed yet strong? together you can watch the first one but I want you to do it even though you're watching. 
inhale on your inhale reach up exhale forward fold inhale halfway lift squeeze those shoulder blades exhale fold step back high plank take one inhale on your exhale knees toes chest Inhale, tuck your pelvis, lift your shoulder blades. Exhale, lower the chest. Push your bottom back, balasana, child's breath. One breath. Tuck your toes, push your bottom up, downward dog. Gently push that chest back. Even weight between the hands and feet. Bend your knees, push your chest back, push your heels down. Can you still hear that breath? Can you hear it? Let the breath open up your body. When you're ready, walk your feet to your hands. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, Samastiti. Beautiful. Again, inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, step back, high plank. Exhale, knees, toes, chest. Inhale, tuck your pelvis, squeeze your shoulder blades. Exhale, lower. Inhale, push with your hands. One breath. Tuck your toes, push your bottom up. Walk your feet to your hands. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, reach up, look up. Exhale, Samastiti. We're going to up it. You can stay with that or you can up it one level. Let's go together. Let's give three a go. Inhale. Exhale, forward fold, flat back, legs a bit straighter. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hands down, spread your fingers. You're going to step or you can jump. You're trying to land as lightly as possible. Take one breath. If you want to try the higher version, drop to 90. Inhale, push forward all over your toes. Look up, your thighs will be up. Exhale, tuck your toes, push your bum back. Three breaths. Bend your knees, look towards your hands, step or jump. Land light. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach up, look up. Exhale, Samastiti. Two more. See if we can make it flow. Inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, hold for lift. Exhale, hands down. This is called a chaturanga. On your exhale, Inhale, push forward. Exhale, tuck your toes. Come to that breath. Breathe in for tightness. Bend your knees, look towards your hands, step or jump. Halfway lift. Exhale, fold. 
Inhale, reach up, look up. Exhale, Samastiti. One more. Reach up, forward fold. Pull fully. Fold. Step or jump. Take one breath. On your exhale, halfway. Inhale, push forward, one of the toes. Exhale, tuck your toes, push back. Three breaths. Bend your knees, look towards your hands, step or jump. Halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach up, fill up, tall, tall, tall. Exhale, Samastiti. That, my friends, was Surya Namaskar A. So now I want you to come down. We're going to practice a little. Shavasana, this is everybody's favorite bit. Basically, you get to lie and fall asleep. But you need to do this with me. Go and do front, because uh, it might be easier for some. So you're gonna come down and lie on your front. Doesn't matter where you are, maybe grab a pillow if you want one. Or make a pillow with your hands for your head. Take your feet as wide as the mat. Relax your shoulders. Get yourself as comfortable as you possibly can. Close your eyes. You can relax your breathing now. Really tune in on my voice. Work up your body with me. You can lay on your back if you're more comfortable. But just be really comfortable. Let your feet relax, feel heavy. Every muscle in your calves, in your thighs, is relaxed, it's loose, it's heavy, it's sinking into that mat. Your hips, your rib cage, they're all loose, they're let go of, they're just heavy. Every muscle in your arms are relaxed. Your neck is relaxed. Your head is heavy. Every part of your body that's touching the ground is sinking deep. It's feeling heavy. The only movement is that tiny breath. There's no focus on it now. It's just a little movement in and out of your body. Relax your jaw. Relax the tongue inside your mouth. Relax every muscle of your face. Let your eyelids feel heavy. All you can see is the blacks of your eyelids. There is something you must always remember. You are braver than you believe, stronger than you seem, and smarter than you think. And the most important thing is, if you ever feel sad or alone, know there'll always be someone you can lean on that loves you.
keeping your eyes closed. Take a bigger breath in through your nose. Let it go through your mouth. And again, in through your nose. Out through your mouth. Maybe wriggle your fingers and wriggle your toes. Maybe take a full body stretch, whether you're on your tummy or your back. Stretch that body out. Keep those eyes closed. Stay in the moment. When you're ready, bring yourself up to a comfortable seat, however you're comfortable. Sit up nice and tall. Close those eyes. Bring your hands together, thumbs on your heart center. Relax your shoulders. Fate whispers to the warrior, you cannot withstand the storm. The warrior whispers back, I am the storm. Mother's day. You have no idea how hard that is to uh, talk and move all at the same time and put my words in. Sometimes I stumble a bit and I do apologise. Uh, but I hope that if you've never done yoga before, you enjoyed that a little bit. You got something out of it. Um, maybe try it a couple of times. Or maybe once you have the flow, try it without me. Um, it's just a matter of trying to switch that mind off. Whether you're an athlete, a fighter. Being able to control that mind is probably the strongest thing you'll have in your whole career. So yoga can do that and then it can teach you how strong and powerful that mind is and how you can actually control it if you want to for positive negative and to switch off a little bit so that stuff isn't constantly attacking you anyway i hope that gave you a taster i hope you got enjoyed it um get in touch with any questions and uh yeah, it's all a it's all a new ball game this for me. So I hope you're all okay and speak to you soon. Take care, bye bye.